Hello guys, today we will be creating a Python trading bot using alpaca.markets. So if you don't have an account in this, go ahead and create an account in alpaca.markets. So they, they provide APIs to help you buy and sell uh, securities in the market. Okay, so once you have created this account, you don't need to uh, complete the KYC because we will just be using paper trading for now. So you can test your strategy, you can test your whatever signals you are using and once you are satisfied then you can do real trades. But for now, we will only be using paper trading so because I don't want to lose any money. <laughs> okay, so let's see how we can create a trading bot using Alpaca. First of all, once you have logged in, once you have created an account and logged in, you need to go here and uh, click on this view API keys. So I had already done that, but I'll regenerate it. Let's generate new keys. So I have these keys now. Once you have these keys and you have the endpoint, this is all you need. Now we can start creating our bot. So as you can see here, they provide us with 100K just to test and do whatever you want with it. So I've already done a few things here. Okay. For now, let's start with our Python bot. So let me go to my Python folder here and let's create a new folder. Let's call it auto trading bot. Okay. I'll open VS code here. So I'm doing everything from scratch so you can just follow along. Okay. So let's create a new file here. Let's call it config.py. So in this config.py, we will create our, we will have our secret and our key. Okay, so let's get our secret and key from here. This is the key, this is the secret. So let's, let's save this here. Okay, now we have our key and our secret. Now let's create another file that will actually trade. So let's call this bot.py. And in this bot.py, we need to first import a lot of things from Alpaca's APIs. So for that, you can go to Developer Hub or you can go to Docs. And we are using the trading API. And we are using paper trading. So you can go to getting started and you can see this. They have this package. This package has a lot of functions that we will use, so we need to install it. Okay, so you can go ahead and first activate our... Okay, we have not created any virtual environment, so let's just create a virtual environment for this first. So I'll press Control shift p and create a new environment for this using virtual environment. And we will use the base interpreter. So let the virtual environment be created, and in this virtual environment we will install this library so that uh, this is not available to every project and whatever we mess up in dependencies and in packages is just messed up in this project so this virtual environment is being created okay so once this is created i'll just activate it and let's just paste that let's just install this Okay, so our dependencies and packages, our packages alpaca.py is installed. Now let's jump into the code. First of all, we just need to import a few things from alpaca. Okay, we have not set an interpreter, so I think it's already selected. Yeah, this is selected, but why is it not recognizing this? So let's just restart our Visual Studio here. Let's exit. Let's restart this. Okay, so now it's showing those things. Okay, so we need to import a trading client from Alpaca first of all, so that can help us get details of our alpaca trading dot now you can see it's giving me solutions because it is being selected here properly and we need to from this we need to import trading client that will give us information about our account and we also need to import a few other things
that will actually help us make trades these things help us like uh, is it a day trade is it a good to cancel trade or what kind of trade, trade, trade it is that we are placing okay let's just quickly get done with the dependencies okay so now we are done with the dependencies we can start the actual code so first we need to create a client creating client and we need to use our key and secret here so first we need the key and then we need the secret and then we need to define that we want to get information for our paper trading account not the actual trading live trading account and then we need to get we don't actually need to get this but let's just get it and see what all it returns to us what information that we get from our trading client about our account get account and let's just print this let's just print this and so this returns a dictionary so let's just uh, get the key value and items and let's see what is printed here so we can just print k and v so we are just printing key and value let's try to run this so i just ran this using f5 that is the shortcut so as you can see we get a lot of information here uh, account number is this status is active crypto status is active us currency is usd buying power and all this stuff so we get all of information about our account now we can format this a little better because it, this is all messed up we can just turn this a little better and set the length of this column here to 30 and let's run this again using f5 and now the length of this column will become 30 so that this is a little more readable so as you can see this length is 30 here now and now yeah you can see it a little more better this is the information about our account account number crypto status status and buying power and cash and all that stuff so now uh, our api is working well but what we need to do right now is actually make trades using our bot all right so let's just comment this because i don't want this printed every time i run this file and now we need to get set order details order details is what kind of orders you want to place or what kind of stuff or whatever what do you want to buy so let's make a new market order request and the symbol that i'll use to buy is spy and spider i think that is kind of what tracks s p 500 and let's just buy 10 units for now and side is what is side side is you want to buy or you want to sell and then time in force uh, i'll just set it today but you can also set it to a lot of other things as you can see good to cancel and all this other stuff i'll just say today right now and <clears throat> i'll create an order using our client submit order or data is or details that we just set in this object here now this will not actually make the trade it will just submit the order but in order to make this uh, trade be accepted what we need to do is we need to actually run this trade so to run this trade we need a trading stream and what is our key again and in config we need secret and again we need this trading stream for our paper trading not our live account so first we test everything in trading and trading and whatever strategies we'll create in later on videos whatever um, you know technical indicators we'll look into we will just test this using our paper trading account and if this is if it works out well i'll actually spend some money and see how much profit i make okay now we need to just do trades dot run now this is all you need to make a trade but in order to get feedback from this 
like if the trade is uh, actually successful or, or not what happened to the trade we need to you know listen to the details that it is sending since this is a socket we need to create an async function async function that gives us trade status and we'll just print the data if you're actually creating a bot you can just send details to your email or sms or do whatever you want to do in this async function and before running the trade we will subscribe to the details that the trades send send us so we will subscribe trade updates and in this we pass our async function now this has to be async remember guys because this is a web socket so make sure your function callback function is async now i think we are ready here what we are doing is we are just creating a trading client and we are just making a request to buy and we're just submitting the order and then we are creating a trading stream object and uh, we are creating an async function that is used to listen to whatever uh, response our trade stream is sending to us using this subscribe trade updates function and finally we are running the trade now let's try to run this and see what happens I'm not getting any, okay, I'm getting an error here. Handler must be a coroutine function. Okay, so what is it then if it is not a coroutine? Okay, <laughs> so as you can see here, I made a stupid mistake. I'm just passing this trade to itself. We need to pass this function's name. You might have noticed it already. So let's run this again and let's, let's see what happens using function f5 or just f5 and now it is still running so okay this might take some time let's see what happens in our alpaca dashboard let's go here let me reload this if you go down here as you can see a few seconds ago i placed this order and a few minutes ago I, place, I had placed this order but we did not get any response because there was this error okay so this is how you can make trades using alpaca and python now what we can do is this is just a very basic start now in the next videos we will create some kind of a little bit more sophisticated algorithms and we will use some indicators to actually set when we actually buy and we actually don't buy and let's see what happens let's hope we make some profits without automated trading bots